and welcome back to the Spirited Shop. Today we'll be covering CNC Basics Part 3, the G-Code Sender. In the previous step we created a G-Code from an SVG file and so now we have to get that file somehow to your CNC device. I like to use Universal G-Code Sender as it's a free and fairly robust sender um, and that's what we'll be using today. I have got it set up and running. First we're going to connect to my CNC machine which is a Bob CNC and once it connects it always starts an alarm and you have to home the machine so we're going to do that now. Give it a second. Alright, the machine is now homed and I will open up our G-code file that we created. Uh, we'll do the text and it gives you an overview of the size and the steps that it's going to take to actually carve out that text. So let me get the machine zeroed in and we'll uh, send the code out to it. Getting the machine zeroed in is a manual process on my machine, so I'll go to the jog controller and I want to manually jog it to the starting point. Once you have your machine at 0, 0, .0 you're going to come back to the controller and zero out these controls, each axis, and now you can send the G-code. So I'm going to start it up. It's going to get loud, so I'm going to record this step separately, and then we'll be back. I'll show you the finish. So. All right, and here we have the final results. You can see it's a little chunky in the middle because I used the foam board and it's not 100% flat. But it turned out pretty well. And that's about it for CNC Basics Part 3. I hope you liked this video, and if you do, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye and God bless.